Hello everyone. Hope you're having an awesome February 1st slash February 2nd if you're on the other side of the world. That's been a real trip for me connecting with people in social media, especially like in Australia, the UK, stuff like that, where it's morning here and it's evening there and it's just kind of difficult to talk about today and tomorrow with those kind of people on the other side of the wonderful planet we're on. So today I'm using the Oracle of the Unicorns to give us some guidance. And if you're seeing this at any other time other than today, it still applies per the Law of Attraction. So you'll always hear this message at the right time. And for very specific reasons. Even if it is just to be entertained or if you're just curious. Anyway, so let's see what the card is. Okay, it is balance. Let's check this out. Balance. Let's see if we can get a better shot there. I apologize. These are really glossy. They're really gorgeous. That's why I'm really trying to get some thing there. Balance. And this deck is by Cordelia Francesca Brabs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read this. I'm going to try to do this all just with two hands. Okay. It says here, there is an area of imbalance in your life that needs addressing so you can lift yourself up into happiness and health. Moderation is the key to feeling good. This may relate to work, play, spending, saving, exercising, resting, being social, or spending time alone. If you've been working hard, staying up late to get things done, working on weekends or not taking breaks, then this is a call to set a better balance between work and personal time. If you've been following a strict diet and are feeling deprived, this card encourages you to relax a little, encourages you to relax a little and find healthier ways to treat yourself without overdoing it. Equally, if you've been indulging a bit too much, it's time to take control and honor your body with healthier foods, exercise, and rest. In whichever area you need to create balance, be sure to look under the surface for any emotional causes for your behavior. Often there can be a belief that needs releasing or a wound that needs healing before you can enjoy moderation and be more gentle with yourself. When you find your own point of balance, you will feel happier, healthier, and have the energy to get out and enjoy life even more. Awesome. Awesome card. So for this, wow. Well, okay. So I was just, before I recorded this, I was thinking about going to eat. I was kind of hungry, but then I kind of wasn't. I'm like, what is this that I'm feeling? What's this? This like anxiety, is it for food? What is it for? So I decided to kick back and chill out, go outside, have a little smoke break, and then come in here and do this reading. So I took the time to relax. I really did. Even though I felt kind of like this hunger, but again, not not really a hunger, but like, but it, you know, it kind of felt like hunger, like, oh, I'm hungry. But then as I lingered and lingered, I was like, I'm not starving. It just feels like, I go, there's this wanting to do something. And um, I think it was this, it was definitely, it's wanting to do these readings, getting them on YouTube, getting them on Facebook, getting them on my different pages, and just sharing this information with you. And that's my personal, you know, interpretation of this card. And also I've been thinking about going vegan. And, you know, I've had like different reflections about meat eating and not meat eating. And uh, I've been really kind of being intuitively moved towards, um, towards going vegan. So part of my not leaving to the store uh, to get groceries is, was this debate that I was still having in my mind about 
whether to get meat or not, whether it was going to be beef, chicken, turkey, or some other animal. And so this card is definitely <laughs> resonating with me in, in, in changing my nutrition. So if there is some kind of doubt in, in what I'm doing in this case, going to restock to, to nurture my body, to really be mindful of of what I'm putting inside it. And if, you know, if I decide to, to still continue to eat animal meat, that I will do it with the right energy. <laughs> if that means grass-fed or humanely killed or whatever it may be, that I follow my intuition, that I follow it, what feels right. And I really don't have a problem with vegetables. Um, maybe Maybe that's why... <laughs> You know, I'm being called to, to put them more into my life, into my body. So anyway, I hope this resonated with you in some way. Again, if you're working too hard, like me, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers within the next 30 days or less than 30 days. That's been putting a lot of pressure on me. And uh, I think that I, I really need to just chill out, do what I can. And if I don't get to that... Um, number that everything's going to be okay and just to you know do my music post my oracle readings like do whatever silly thing that i want to do and uh and just go for it and i think that's for me is is the true balance is to nurture these different areas in my life that need nurturing not just food but also my creative endeavors like what do i want to do on youtube and making sure that i am somehow nurturing and growing all those uh, different aspects of of my internet presence and what I'm doing with my life today. So anyway, I love doing this and I can't wait to do it again. Thank you for watching and see you later.